Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about that price leak on the upcoming Ryzen 3000 series that came courtesy from an online retailer in Singapore called Bizgram. And of course I'll link the original PDF to the catalog which looks like it's actually been updated since uh, the leak was spotted. In fact it looks like they've added sort of a, uh, a black box banner over where the pricing used to be for the 3000 series. But I'll still link that original PDF down below but I'll also give you the screen screenshot of the original which did have the uh, leaked pricing and I want to talk about that pricing and why I think it might just be a little bit on the optimistic side. Now with the original PDF I'll also go ahead and link this hothardware.com article that I'm sort of using as a reference point because hot hardware here also connected prior leaks with uh, things like clock speed, core counts, thread counts, all together with this price leak to give us a better picture of just what type of pricing we're looking at. And unfortunately, it looks like uh, this may be a bit on the optimistic side if you're looking for this to be sort of the final pricing. So if we take a look at the uh, thread counts, the core counts, the clock speeds, all that, uh, the top tier chip here on the mainstream is going to be this Ryzen 9 3850X rumored to be 16 cores, 32 threads, 4.3 gigahertz base with a 5.1 gigahertz boost clock, 135 watt TDP at 561. That's converted from uh, Singapore's currency over to USD. So if you just do a straight conversion, $561 USD. Now, if you remember the original Ryzen 7 1800, X, the top tier mainstream chip on that platform launched at uh, $500, even it was like $499, which is the chip that I went ahead and purchased. We're looking at a 16 core 32 thread monster at $561. And the problem that I'm seeing with this pricing is that if these chips on an IPC level, as well as a clock speed level, like some of these prior leaks and rumors have indicated are uh, to be believed, AMD will be on parity, or at least very close to being on parity, uh, in single threaded performance with Intel. And my question then becomes, if Intel is charging so much more money for the same core counts, same thread counts, and the same IPC, why would AMD undercut them by so much? Now, I understand that AMD will probably want to undercut them regardless just to help claim some market share. And it may be a fairly significant undercutting, but it doesn't make sense in my mind to price a 16 core 32 thread monster that could run if you get really nice cooling on it as well as um, a really nice motherboard to go with it you probably could go ahead and hit five gigahertz if these rumors were accurate, which of course we're not in any way sure they are. But with that being the case, I, I just don't see the business sense for AMD to undercut uh, Intel on the pricing that much. The other bit that sort of makes me raise my eyebrow at least a little bit is the Ryzen 3 3300 being a six core 12 thread processor. Um, th that, that just seems like a little bit overkill for a Ryzen 3 processor. Um, that type of processor, if, if that was truly what happened here, and that's what they came out with, if it was unlocked, which I assume it will be because all past generation Ryzen processors have been unlocked, you could potentially, looking at the other clocks of the other processors, push that well beyond 4 gigahertz and have yourself a very beastly processor and the price point on that right now is listed at $111 USD. Again, I just think that's overly optimistic for what we're likely to receive. Now, I'm sure hoping that the uh, third generation Ryzen chips for the cores and threads come in at about the same price as the current generation Ryzen processors uh, because we're going to get a clock speed boost and we're also going to get an IPC gain on top of that. Uh, Again, I just think it's overly optimistic to be looking at this and seeing this as a final pricing of these products. On top of all this, it's quite early for AMD to be coming out with final pricing, especially if the release date rumors of 7-7-2019 are true. We are, as of the day of recording this, exactly four months out from that potential launch. It's likely AMD hasn't completely settled on a specific price for all these processors. And even if they have, they can always change that between now and actual launch day. There are all kinds of 
of monkey wrenches that could be thrown into a production process of these processors between now and that actual launch. So uh, we'll see. Regardless, it does look like there are a couple of things that we do know about the Ryzen 3000 generation that's gonna be really pro-consumer. First of all, we know that AMD is gonna undercut Intel on pricing, even if their IPC almost perfectly matched Intel's AMD is going to undercut them on pricing, I think mostly because they have the ability to get these, pro these uh, products produced at a cheaper cost to them because TSMC actually has a 7 nanometer process that seems to be working quite well, whereas Intel is still struggling at their 10 nanometer process, which is leading to lower yields. Lower yields with higher demand means that Intel is just not able to sell at a cheaper price because it's costing them more to produce their product uh, because those yields are so low and we also it looks like seem to be seeing more evidence that the core and thread counts are going to be up for the 3000 series uh, so really hoping that the rumor of a 16 thread 32 or rather 16 core 32 thread processor on the mainstream platform are uh, accurate because even if the pricing isn't perfect there and even if the clock speeds don't end up being quite as high as some of the rumors have indicated i really do think that five gigahertz is a little bit optimistic judging from past zen architectures uh, who knows though that die shrink may or the process node shrink may actually help out a ton with that We'll definitely see, but regardless of some of the rumors that make me a little hesitant, I am still very optimistic for what the 3000 generation of Ryzen processors is going to bring to the market, and I'm very much looking forward to this summer when we can actually get hands on with these products because... Uh, unless something drastic happens where uh, the processors are just a giant dud. Uh, I've been running my Ryzen 7 1800X for two years now. Can't wait to see what the actual 3000 series brings. And of course, always take these rumors with one giant grain of salt or just a ton of grains of salt. But I do want to hear from you guys. What do you think about these recent price leaks? I actually am legitimately curious how accurate you think these things may be. And of course, I'm sure some of you will go ahead and you know click that dislike button because you're like, eh, rumors. Well, why are you clicking on a rumor video? Regardless, I digress again. I digress again. So um, I do want to hear your thoughts in those comments down below. If you want to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, you can do that at Hoosier Hardware. I'll leave uh, links to both the article here as well as um, the actual original PDF in the description down below. Check those out, and I'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos from my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.